Hey Zedheads, it's Andrew from Maceda Ranch. Today's video will be talking about the cut line. The cut line is a new series that I'm bringing out where we are going to talk about the horses that competed in a Zed Run tournament. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's any horses that you want to see, check out the description below for timestamps. Enjoy the video. Is managing your Zed Run stable eating away all your racing time? Focus stable evaluations will provide you accurate data based on your horse's past performance and give you the Z edge. Win big, no hassles, no confusing calculations. Let us help you. Use the promo code Macedo at focusstables.com and we'll see you on the racetrack. Okay, welcome to the cut line where we're gonna go over our maiden stakes Monday races. So here's some of the horses that I had in Sprinter, Mid Runner, and Marathon. <laughs> Uh, seriously funny was one that was made that made the cut line to uh, quarterfinals but as you can see the rest that uh, placed or not available didn't go through upward fall was another one that made the cut line I believe and these are some of the horses that I bred uh, with my existing stable to see what I could come up with with some Genesis that were out on the market uh, Hey, it's your was one of those horses that made it into the quarter finals and uh, Let's just go see what they did on the track. So here we'll have our first horse seriously funny. I have it as Zabo exclusive the horse that I have in my ranch is the mother the Destiny green a sprinter beast uh, I call it a beast because it's been doing very well for me and then I bred it with the first and most foremost Genesis horse and here's basically what I got so it runs at a 1400 got some heat on it as you can tell most of these races are from uh, the Griffin and it was able to go to uh, the quarterfinals so we can check out who we have in the quarterfinals the maiden stakes I finished six so I did not progress but congratulations to the top three horses going on to the next race uh, I can see this horse basically going to my sprinter uh, wallet and then we'll see how it plays out with the rest of the stables and hopefully it competes in exclusive conditionals or some paid races. Well, time will only tell. While the race is loading up, we're just going to check out how my horse did in the last 250 meters. So enjoy the race. And if your horse is in it, give me a like and subscribe. Thank you. Looks like we have a glitch right off the gate. And there we go. We're going back. So last 250 meters. <laughs> You're seriously funny. One up the rear. So seriously funny came in sixth. Racing in a, a thousand meter race for the Sprinter A. I wasn't able to show any true colors, but congratulations to the other sprinters. On to our second horse, which is Upward Fall. Does all right. I was very confused to see where this horse would go. The French Toast is a marathon horse, where first and most seems to be a strong sprinter. So that would equal my horse in a mid-distance. Nothing too fancy, as you can see. It came first in the 1800, and that's how I was able to get into the quarterfinals for the mid runners and as you can see I didn't do so well um, just because I wasn't too sure of where to place this horse and obviously once you get into the quarterfinals it's set distance and this horse rather place in 1800 meters than 1600 meters so let's go check out uh, how the last 250 meters went all right, so here comes the horses for the quarterfinal mid-runner. And 
upward fall, it's gonna take a fall. So let's fast forward to the last 250 meters. And upward fall sitting in 9th and we'll finish 11th. So it doesn't do so well, but now I know where it sits and I'm going to be placing it in my midrunner wallet at 1800 meters. Congratulations to the other horses, hopefully you won the tournament in the midrunner. Alright, here's my last horse. Hey, it's your. It was bred with milk here and brand new key from East Coast Stables. This was one of my most expensive coats to cover, but if I want to improve, this is how it's going to be. So I paid that coat, tried this horse out a few months later. Didn't do so well in the Griffin races, but it seems to be doing well at 2200 meters, so I could probably get this to class 3 with 44 caliber love letter and probably have a nice duo running 2200 meters uh really happy for this third place finish i got a little bit of uh eth out of that like eight dollars or so but i w was really happy to see that uh hey it's your was doing really well in the semi-final but when you watch the last 500 meters even up until the last 200 meters you're just like wow this horse is gonna take it with flames and go on to the finals and you're gonna be happy well when we watch the video you'll understand so here's the race where i thought it's your was hey it's yours gonna make it into the finals but this is zed this is upsets <laughs> let's go check it out And let's go down to the last 250 meters and see what I was talking about. So I'm sitting in second place right now. I'll probably hold it. No, I lost the lead. So I'm holding second. And then I'll drop down to six. But uh, very powerful to see the other horses just come up in the last 50 meters or so to outrun me. Plain and simple. But this was fun to watch. Uh, fun to participate in. Wish I got the uh, the podium to proceed to the finals, but it's still a learning curve. It's made in stakes. We'll see how this horse does in other races. Well, thank you for watching the cut line. Um, I know I didn't win any races. I know I showed or placed, but uh, this is a learning curve. Obviously, there's a lot better competition, and you got to do your best as a, a jockey or st stable owner to place your horse in the race positions um, my next round of breeding will be significantly better thank you for watching the cut line and we'll see you on the next video i hope you enjoyed that and take some pieces of information to make your stable a bit better than mine we'll see you on the racetrack bye